Monday Morning Marketing Podcast is brought to you by Esther of IPA Group, bringing premier online promotion to your business. And Melanie of Stump Social Media Training, who empowers business owners to manage social media and marketing for themselves. And welcome back to another episode of the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. Today, we're taking a look back at 2023 and we're here to wish you a very Merry Christmas, guys. Yep. This time it fell on Christmas Day. So you're hearing us, I would say bright and early, but you probably aren't in fairness. Well, if they've got small kids, they might be. There is that, yeah. (laughs) Although if you are listening to us on Christmas Day, I'm sure you have better things to do. (laughs) We love you. We love you lots. But go and put the turkey in the oven. (laughs) It's probably about time. Yeah. So... What was what was your standout podcast for this this year? Oh, I think we had so many good ones this year because this year we talked about um, Web three, we talked about ChatGPT, we talked about like we had so many good guests on this year. Like we have, all our guests are good, but this year I think they sort of there was such a nice mixture mm. of of guests and topics, and I just really enjoyed this past year. Well, when we did our Spotify wrapped um, only a, f- a few weeks ago now, um, it turns out that Miriam Nasa was the most popular and she was yes. talking about pay-per-click. So that was yes. interesting. I, I, I never expected that to do as well as it did. Um, and and it's so many downloads. So many. And I've actually been talking to Miriam recently and she has said that she will come back on in 2024 and expand on the topic Fantastic. because it was such a such an interesting topic for all our listeners last year and through that podcast we generated lots more followers mm. so we're very thankful for that too but we also talked about lots of other things we talked about um NLP sustainability i mean it hasn't just been the heavy topics of pay per click and web3 that we've discussed this year I think that's what makes our podcast a little bit different because as much as we want to be ed- educational and informative, I do think there's a, it, it shouldn't always be about um, the business side of things. I think it, the, there's a mindset to business as well, isn't there? Yeah. Yeah, there definitely yeah. is. Yeah. And I think that's been reflected in our most recent episodes mm. where we're talking about reframing your intro where we're talking about, you know, remembering to go where your audience is, if they've jumped shipped, jumped ship and gone to a different platform, avoiding the rabbit hole. I mean, those have also resonated quite nicely with a lot of our listeners because we've been getting messages from people saying, I needed to hear that. <laughs> and we've actually been getting them on lots of diverse platforms as well. So obviously we've had a good dose from our website um, which is where our podcast is mainly hosted. But Spotify um, and Apple Podcasts, they've been uh, sort of propping us up pretty high as well. Yeah, yeah. And I'm looking forward to going into 2024 on um, podcasting on YouTube and seeing what um, analytics we can get from people listening on YouTube to us. Mm. But I have to say a major highlight of 2023 Mm-hmm. I think you can guess what I'm going to say is winning podcast of the year. <laughs> yeah, and I I think the the fact that we are sort of being seen more as a a speaking duo as well. I I, I quite enjoy the fact that we're getting the chance to speak more frequently at events, either in person or online. So that's a bit of a bonus as well. Yeah, it's been cool. And speaking of events. Which has been your favourite events this year? Oh, jeez. Um, I'd say... Because we've gone a, to quite a few. Well, but between us, we've gone to g- g- quite a few. But really, they tie for me. I've got one here. Actually, oh, my God, I've got so many. Um, <laughs> I, I went to Social Media Marketing World um, in 2023 for the very first time. And it was a heck of an education. And I got to meet some amazing speakers, probably the opportunity that I would never get um, where where we are here in the Republic. Um, saying that, there are some great contenders for these events now. 
because the boys, Andrew and Pete of Atomicon or Atomic, who run Atomicon, um, they are getting some amazing speakers. And we had such a great time networking and meeting people there as well, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We did. Um, and then later on in the year, um, we had Social Media Fest, a new one down in Wexford in the Republic of Ireland. And uh, Digital Women is always a good one. I didn't get to it this year. I got to it in 2022. Mm. Um, but definitely 2024, that one's on my radar to mm. go back to. But, and there's new ones as well. There's yeah. that um, Uplift Live. Um, there's a yeah. LinkedIn session with um, John Asperian. There's Matt Hughes is also doing yep. a, a YouTube one. Yep. Um, so there's just, I mean, we, I think we're spoiled a bit where we are here because we can just jump on a plane and go to England and uh, see loads of, of good events and loads of great speakers there. Obviously, going to social media marketing world is a little bit more of a hop like, and a jump across the pond. A bit more of a hike, yeah. <laughs> but we're also lucky that we live on an island where there's lots of people ha hosting events. Um, I didn't go in person this year, but Ashling Watson, um, Ashley Watson, she ran an event. She runs an event in Belfast every year and uh, she ran another good one this year that I was um, online for. Um, so we're, we're really spoilt for events and speakers and learning opportunities. And we've got the rest of Europe mm. at our fingertips as well. I think getting a good balance of updating your own knowledge. And let's face it, we are so lucky today that we have got the choice of either watching YouTube videos, downloading ebooks, attending events, or listening to podcasts. Listening to podcasts. Um, so we've got all these choices available to us, all these resources available to us. And it just depends on the time you have, the budget you have. Um, I, I, I just think this is probably a really good time to work on your business. Maybe not today, but... Um, well, well to, you know, maybe take today <laughs> off. Well, you know? I would take today, yes. Take today Play off. a few games with your, with your family and yeah. friends. But, but, you know, uh, I think the attitude has changed, hasn't it? It's it's no longer, it's not meant to be work anymore. It's meant to be something you enjoy so you can inject a bit of enjoyment in other people's day. Do what you love and you'll yep. never work a day in your life. Amen to that. So what part of marketing do you love most, Esther? Oh, that's a hard one because it it, it almost depends on the day of the week. <laughs> It almost depends on what I'm focused on, what my clients are, are trying to do. There are days that I love writing content and other days I would just throw the laptop away <laughs> if I could. Mm. Um, there are days that I enjoy, you know, random stuff like hashtag anal analysis and looking through the analytics of of different things. And other days I just look at numbers and go, they don't make any sense at all. Um so it literally depends on, on the day of the week. I think I know your answer to this one, though. I think I might surprise you. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, for a long time, it's just been the moment where somebody goes, oh, that's how you do it. And it still is a, a big draw for me. But secretly, I, my passion for Google Business Profile has been growing. And... I just love those moments where people go, I had no idea that there was this versatility, this capability, this, I had no idea it was so powerful. Um, and, you know, only last week, only last week, I had the chance to do some um, online training with somebody um, in the UK. And they were like, I had no idea I could do all of this. So it's it's just... It's rapidly becoming an area that I think has been horribly ignored for too long and there's so much we can do with it. And so um, that's probably one of the areas I'm going to be working on a bit more um, in 2024. So well, have you got, you got your goals you sorted out? You didn't surprise me there, actually. I knew yeah. that. Was, <laughs> but you <laughs> might have surprised our listeners. Um, <laughs> goals for 2024. Um uh, 
no, haven't got them sorted out yet. But that's what this week is for. The betwixtmas, the time between Christmas and New Year. Um, that's what that's time is for. Um, after you've eaten all the turkey and eaten all the sweeties, uh, it's time to just sit back and go, right, it's been a year. <laughs> it's been either quite a year in a good way or a bad way. And uh, just work out from there what the goals are going forward. But yeah, definitely we as a company here at IPA, we'll be working more with AI going into 2024 and using those capabilities to make our lives easier and make uh, our stuff better for our, our clients. Because there's times that you just get so lost. You know, you yeah. see so much stuff and you're like, I don't know how to make sense of it. And that's where AI will step in and go, actually, if you said it this way instead of that way, it might make more sense. So I'm I'm slowly, not slowly, very quickly falling in love with AI. <laughs> oh, yeah, Don't tell it, my husband. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't surprise me either, in fairness. Um, so what's your plans today? Are you going to be, um, are you a turkey lover or are you going to be eating something oh, yes. else? I am definitely a turkey lover. And uh, I have, uh, yeah, the turkey is in the oven. The uh, ham is in the oven as well. The roasties, all the trimmings. Um, there'll be Christmas pudding and there'll be cake and there'll be four or five courses. And then we'll collapse in front of the TV. So food coma. Fire. Food coma. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Did you prepare to do that? <laughs> well, well, yeah. Did you prepare any yesterday? Yeah, yeah. I do a lot of prep the night before. Mm. Well, we're, what about you? We're not actually in into turkey as much. <laughs> so um, we're doing oh, the old no. roast beef, and we don't treat ourselves very often with beef. But yeah, we're doing the old roast beef um, and the Christmas pudding and the uh, uh, pigs in blankets. It's very British, isn't it? <laughs> mm, they're my favourite. So it is. It is. I you think put Yorkshire puddings with yours. Well, how do you mean? How, how with your roast dinner? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I thought you meant with the pigs in blankets. Puddings. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. Why not? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, there you go. Well, I think we've had enough in name chatter now. So um, I don't know about you, but I need to get back to basting the old beef. Um, but I will be back with Esther. Very soon. And we'll probably celebrate New Year here as well. We love you guys. We just love you guys. <laughs> Actually, we're going to be coming out with our predictions, won't we? That's right. That's right. Can't wait for those. They're very good this year. Mm. Got quite a lot. We do. We do. But stay tuned for that next week. Okay, guys. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your time with your family and your day off. And we will speak to you next year. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.